Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Odroid XU4 and I wanted to test out the Cyanogen Mod 14.1 build. It's a really nice build. Everything seems very, very stable here. If you're in the States and you're looking to purchase an Odroid XU4, C2, or C1, I definitely recommend Ameridroid. They sell all types of single board computers and accessories so you don't have to wait for that China shipping and it's a big plus for me because every time I order something, it's from China and it takes weeks to get here. Link is in the description if you want to go check them out. They got Raspberry Pis, Odroids, uh, pretty much everything. LCD screens, everything you need for your single board computers. Let's get right into it here. Yeah, this runs very, very stable. Now, there's no Bluetooth or Wi-Fi built onto the Odroid XU4, but I am using a Wi-Fi dongle and it worked amazingly like right out of the box we're going to go to about tablet as you can see i'm on cyanogen mod 14.1 this is android 7.1 let's open up ida 64 so we can see the specs of this board this is the hard kernel odroid xu4 even though it says xu3 here i'm on the xu4 they're pretty much the same board the cpu is a samsung exynos octa-core 5422 Four of the cores are at 1.4 gigahertz and four of the cores are at two gigahertz. The GPU is a Mali T628 six core GPU and it clocks all the way up to 543 megahertz. We have OpenGL ES 3.0. So I'm running this from an EMMC module. What I did was I went in and I benchmarked these. I ran 3D Mark twice, I ran N22 twice, I ran GFX Bench once because it takes so long. Geekbench will not finish. Let's check out 3D Mark. So with Slingshot ES 3.0, I scored a 651. With Ice Storm Unlimited, I scored a 14,539. Now I've tested a lot of ARM based single board computers and this by far is the highest scoring Android single board computer that I have tested. It's not super impressive in the scores, but these are benchmarks. Spec out of here. Next up, I ran N22 benchmark and I ran this twice. And we scored a 59,719. Really good score for this little tiny unit here. Um, the Android boxes that run the Amlogic S912 8-core score anywhere from 30,000 to 38,000. So this is way above those. Let's go to ranking. And if we look at the top, the iPhone 7 Plus is a 172,644. Ridiculous score. iPhone 6S. Well, we'll do the Galaxy S7 here. 134,599. We scored a 59,719. Not bad at all. And still, yet again, the best ARM-based single board computer score that I have seen so far. And we'll run a quick quadrant. With Quadrant, I scored a 18,484. I know you probably can't see that. I know this is an older benchmark here, but I have used it since the first My Touch came out. So, so I always use this benchmark. Next up, GFX Bench. So here's my results. Now, this does have a Mali T628 6-core GPU, and it's actually very, very powerful for a single board computer. But when we go to compare, my device's best score here was a 614 compared to the Apple iPhone 7, which is a 3,706. The NVIDIA Shield Android TV console scores a 3,330. So, yeah. I mean, it's a low power device. It's a single board computer. This has crushed every Android box that I've tested, except for the Shield. 
The Shield, in my opinion, is the best Android TV media player that you can buy right now. But this Odroid does a really, really good job. We can run Android. We can run Ubuntu. We can run Debian. We can run Laka. We can run Recallbox. There are tons of operating systems available for this single board computer. Next thing I wanted to do was just show you Kodi. Now I installed this. I installed Ares Wizard and I installed a nice add-on here, which is one of my favorites. Go to Movies, Video Add-ons, and I always use Exodus. We'll go to TV Shows, and I'm using Wi-Fi here, so it's actually pretty fast. I'm using a slower Wi-Fi connection that I have here very close. Um, let's go to Most Popular. One of the best shows right now on TV is Westworld. Well, last episode uh, already came out, but it's so good. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and try it out. What I'm going to do is just start this video. And we can't go long into it because of the copywritten material. But I want to show you that it does work. Cody works really well on the XU4 while running this Cyanogen mod build. So I'm using an Xbox 360 wired controller right now. I also have a mouse and keyboard connected. Let's just skip right in here. As you can see, it runs really good. Let me get out of here. Can't show much more of that. Let me go ahead and close everything that I've opened up. And we're going to test a couple games here. One of the games that I always get requested is Minecraft. The problem is I own Minecraft on a different account. It's actually my wife's account. She's not here right now, so I cannot install it from that account. I will be coming back to this to test out Minecraft. And if you want to see any other games running on this unit, let me know in the comments. I'll add them into the video. But for right now, we're going to test Asphalt Extreme, the newest Asphalt game that's come out recently. So with most Chinese Android TV boxes, you cannot hook up your controller. I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller to play this game right now, and it works great. Come on. I, I see it. There we go. Now you can configure the display to go to 720p if you'd like, and that should improve performance in pretty much everything. But I'm running at 60 FPS, 1080p. And this game runs really well. I'm 100% sure that Minecraft Pocket Edition is also going to run very good on this board. I just need to wait so I can sign in with my other account and download it. So that's Asphalt Extreme there. Looks great. And I'm going to try Asphalt 8. So the CPU definitely handles tasks way better than the Analogic CPUs that come in the Chinese Android boxes like the Analogic S905 or even the newer S912. This is the same CPU and GPU that was in the international Samsung Galaxy S5. It's still a really nice CPU. I mean, compared to a $700 Android phone, it's nothing compared to those, but we're talking about a $70, $80 single board computer. So there's one last thing I wanted to show you guys. For my main viewers, 
I do a lot of emulation. I want to test out Conker's Bad Fur Day. This is one of the hardest games to run on the N64 emulator, oh, on any system. And we get really good performance out of this game here. Now there's still gonna be a little bit of lag. I'm using Moopin FZ from the Google Play Store. But I have the FPS listed at the very bottom there. And I just wanted to run through here a little bit and show you guys what you can expect in retro emulation. It's really not that bad. It looks good and it runs so much better than any other Android TV box that I've tested except for the Nvidia Shield. But that's a $200 unit there. So overall, I really like the Odroid XU4. I have tested a lot of operating systems on it. Now I'm probably not going to keep Android on this as like a daily driver because I have so many Android boxes, but you could if you wanted to. It is more expensive than the Raspberry Pi 3, but it is more powerful. Being more powerful doesn't mean it's a better board. You guys have to know that because I've had people ask me, should I buy the Odroid or should I buy the Raspberry Pi 3? If you're just starting out, get the Raspberry Pi 3. There is tons of development going on for the Raspberry Pi 3, and there will be for years to come. With the Odroid XU4, it does have a big community, but nothing like the Raspberry Pi, so we're not sure if it's gonna be developed for for the next six months or not. They could just quit in the next eight months, and we'll never get an update. That's things you need to look out for when looking at a single board computer. I have a box of single board computers and a lot of them have not had an update in over a year, so it really sucks. I will always go to the Raspberry Pi and I will always suggest the Raspberry Pi, but the Odroid XU4 is a formidable opponent. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. Leave a comment, tell me what you want to see running within Android and I'll get the video made. Like always, thanks for watching.